okay. Luckily, the aircraft's quite light. I managed to uh, get out and tip it back onto its wheels. So, apparently, no harm done. Now, let's see if we can get out of this field. Okay, we're looking all right. Up we go, up we go. Flaps up. Yeah, we're good. 34 knots indicated. Wow. So there you go. First uh, off field landing in uh, the lovely Glaswegian territory. I'm glad there was nobody there to see it. Circling back over town. There's our stadium. It's like the big landmark around here. Let's head up to waypoint two. Here we go, we can see the um, U-shaped valley entrance up ahead. There's a big quarry on the left, which uh, I was thinking, can I land in that quarry? Well, once again, I think somebody can, but I don't think I'll do it today. So that's where we just uh, took off from. Pretty close to waypoint one. So this is cool, let's, uh, I think there's a road that goes all the way up here too, I think. This one on the left, possibly, but, you know, we'll, we'll meander up there. Keeping our eyes out for anything uh, looks interesting. Check my throttle setting, yeah, it's about 80%. Yeah, this is like, um, Real Red Baron stuff in this aircraft. Awesome. I think the last time I flew like that was 1998 Dawn of Aces, one of the first online World War One combat games. A section of river here we can check out. Fly between the trees. It's pretty nice. I go under that bridge. How nice is that? Beautiful. Make sure I don't clip one of these trees pretty close. It'll just stay above them, I think. Yep, we're heading up to the waypoint. You can see the U-shaped valley very clearly. Watch the power lines here. Oh yeah. That's awesome. Every, every time you fly these routes, you, you find different things to look at. Uh, I'm going to start with the bleeding obvious. We looked at the stadium, land in the field. I'm going to check out the big quarry because that's uh, such a huge reference point from the air. Such a different colour to the land around it. Uh, engine is 5,000 RPM. That looks pretty healthy. Says it's about 80%. Okay, let's add a bit of power. We'll climb up and have a look at this quarry. 
and get over these power lights too. Now I'll go right and do a left orbit 360 around it and see if I can find somewhere to land. New waypoint 2 which is, well actually it's still quite a way up. That looks awesome. Right, let's climb over here. Whoa, bumpy, bumpy, bumpy. And have a look in the quarry. So, even if I could land down there, which maybe I could, probably would be climbing out of it. Such steep walls. Whoa. Let's have a look back. There we go. Yeah. That's a challenge for future times. Now there's a nice golf course there, looks like, to land on. But anyway, we'll carry on to waypoint two. busy Glaswegians. So back into this valley. We're heading slightly northwest to where point two. It's where a bunch of valleys join up. And it's much better doing this flight when it's not raining, I can tell you that. Tried that yesterday and uh, yeah, couldn't see a thing. Got to admire those guys who uh, do those sort of low-level flights on on instruments, trusting their radar, etc. Lovely houses. Some factories there. Beautiful morning light. Okay, let's check the map. And it shows we're on track, following the river. As you can see, two rivers join at waypoint two, so also it's like a Y-shaped valley intersection. Right on the right there. Quite bumpy. So we can see the intersection coming up because it looks like this valley ends. You can see the ground rising in front of us. So that's waypoint two in the car of cross country. Now I've always raced past that waypoint heading off to the right to the next valley, but let's have a bit of a look see on this occasion. See what's there. Following the river. Oop, power lines, power lines. And there's more here, I think. See the tower? Yeah, there's a heap of them. Uh, 
and more. So what am I, 350 feet seems to keep us at a safe distance above them, or, well, unsafe distance, but, but whatever. You can see them on the right there following the edge of the valley. Just got to watch for the ones that cross the valley. Okay, only a couple of miles out now. So there's a playing field that we could land on back there. Five thousand RPM looks good. Right, so here's a big intersection coming up. So this main road, let's see what happens. I think it, I think it goes to the right. So quite a while since I reconnoitred and constructed this plant. Yes, this main road curves to the right. I think that was my clue, follow the road. Because it also branches to the left. Now waypoint 3 is only a couple of miles away. Uh, we better do an orbit here though. I said I was going to check it out properly. So let's just circle this intersection. Oh look at that nice little park there. Yes, so many wonderful features. Swimming pool. Wow. Let's jump back into the helmet cam. So that's the way to waypoint three. I'm just going to try to do a left orbit here. There we go. That's a better view. Let's crank it up. Another playing field there. Welsh are big on rugby. Big on that rugby. Rugby union. That's great, look at that. Fantastic. Okay, doggy, let's head northeast to waypoint three. 